Okay, so this is Pop OS. I've installed it on the Dell Optiplex 790 uh, going on the second week. I'll pull that up and look specifically in a second here. But let's go to the website first. If you go to DistroWatch, you'll notice that Pop OS was next in the line. If you go to there, well, let me go back here, click on Pop OS. And it'll tell us the country of origin is USA. A lot of this stuff I just got through covering. To download it, this is their home page. If you click there, it's going to download whether it should self-select which one you need. A couple of things I have found under media production here. Well, first of all, under these categories, a lot of them have learned more about them, etc. But here under media production, it, it lists davinci resolve and if you open that up it's going to open this page and if you'll notice in the table of contents that's not there so i i thought i'd be able to actually install that but without further investigation i i can't it doesn't well i can <laughs> but it doesn't have the specific instructions under media production we just did that this is uh, about the cosmic desktop you can try it out without actually installing it. They're telling you. Are they encouraging other developers or yeah, ISO developers to include this Cosmic Desktop in their packages? And it's already listed in several that I know of. What's done and what's left. This is what they'll do before they the first beta release completing settings pages fixing bugs and performance improvements account for most of the remaining work before the first beta release so there's not specifically a date or at least i wasn't able to find a specifically a date what i did find though was as long as you're using and, and the article says using pop shop to do your updates as long as you're doing that way and keeping your system up to date Whenever Pop OS makes the transition from alpha to beta, should be all, pretty much automatic for you. That's what I'm seeing. On gaming, on Pop OS, here it tells you you can install Steam and Proton. Whatever a gamer might need. Now, I'm not a gamer, but I'm going to make sure I include this link in the description below just for the gamers. Here's a page that you, if you're having an issue, you can look up, or a bug, you can look it up, or I think you can post one here. So, all right, so let's get over to my system. We'll close out of that real quick. So let's bring up a terminal. And we'll run a screen fetch. Whoops. Real quick. Uh, pop 2204 jammy. Intel GNOME Desktop 41.4. All right, so I installed on this machine on 9.18. Uh, we're going on 10 days. Tomorrow will be 10 days. And it uses ZRAM by default. You'll see it set up right here. Bring up the system monitor. You can see it a little better. Right here, now I gave it during the install, I gave it eight gigabytes of swap, and it doubled that and gave me 16 gigabytes of ZRAM, which you'll see right there. All right, let's see, what else? Let's uh, clear the screen. Let's cap the Etsy OS. And you'll see again, this is based on Ubuntu Debian, Pop OS 2204 LTS. We'll bring up my notes. Now, here's the web pages that I just looked at, as well as some other ones. If you're interested, the Pop OS installer is a io.elementary.installer. And how I came up with that, I ran an XProp. And I don't know, I'm going to try to get away with this. Let's just start it while that's starting. I should say try. Yep, try. Press enter. While that's starting, we can go on down. I got you some support pages, some documents. Here's an article on the, what people are saying about the release, upcoming beta release.
when I bring this up and you see my categories down here, I added games, media creation, uh, system utilities, virtualization. So let's see. I'm going to make one. Let's see what I can find. Let's just call it DVD. Press enter. Drag and drop that right there. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that if I can. Nope. I'll have to do it some other way. But anyway. So here's your main programs. I've gotten everything I need to install. Installed. Even got a couple games. Media creation. We got Audacity. GUVC View. Caden Live. Krita. And OBS Studio. Which is running right now. Full suite of LibreOffice. Uh, I did see a document viewer. So you won't. It is installed by default. Analyzer, GNOME Disk, that's all this is default. Under Utilities, there's nothing in here that wasn't there by default. Under Virtualization, I did install Boxes, Vert Manager, and VirtualBox. See where we're at here. See what we're at. Seven gigs. All right, come on. <laughs> there we go. Maybe. It's getting closer anyway. Probably going to say the installer is not responding to, or we're going to just say to wait. There it goes again. Wait. And there's the installer. Now, if I go to here and I bring up a terminal, this this is a oh, I'm sorry. This is a software that usually, at least in my experience, is installed everywhere. And I'm gonna click on the installer there, and you'll say install Pop OS, install Pop OS, class IO Elementary Installer. So that's how I come up with that. So I'm going to power this off. And I think it's going to remove the ISO. I think. Yep, it removed it. So before I restart it, I'll have to put it back in. But the point being that you can get that software. Now, the truth is, I, I just truly like what I'm finding here. This is a completely different GNOME desktop experience for me. I, I'm I'm going to wait until the Cosmic release or the beta release of the desktop is actually there. And as soon as that happens, I'm going to seriously contemplate putting, a, putting Pop! OS in a more permanent spot in my work array. One interesting command that you can use if you're just say like today if i decide tomorrow i'm going to install pop os on another machine well here's a command where you can get all your the software that you've installed on your system and that way when you install the new system you can just reverse this greater than symbol to a lesser than symbol right here and it'll give it to you now i've already run this but you can name this any anything you want to, and you can direct a path as long as it's a correct path. I'll show you mine real quick. Right here it is. And, I mean, that's a list of all the software that's on this machine. And if it's already installed, it'll just pass it. I renamed this specifically so that I would know what it was. All right, so let's see. Bring my notes back up. I closed them out. <laughs> OS, and I think that's going to pretty much do it. I'm going to make sure all these links get in the description below. Here's the command that I just told you about running. And to reinstall them, you just change that greater symbol to a lesser than. Here I looked at the gaming link or the uh, media production where it wasn't showing up there. And here's the link that i showed you that you're going to need or you're going to want to look at to be if you're a gamer 
to install some of this software so that you can properly game. Okay, so I guess, like I said, that's going to be it. Uh, more of what would we say it was 10 days? <laughs> yeah, uh, 18th, March 28th. Tomorrow will be 10 days specifically I've had in here. Everything I wanted to do, everything I wanted to install has been readily available. So I encourage you to try Pop OS, and if you can, if you have a bug, submit that bug so that they can work on getting the beta release closer. So you might ask yourself, well, why do I like Pop OS so much? Well, let me show you. I'll bring up a terminal. And if I run a snap space list, then we get snap not even found, but it can be installed by installing snap d. So here you can see the flat pack list. Now I've installed these. These are stuff that I installed like Audacity. But I'll show you a little hint here. So there's a little bug right there. That's sort of like the Ghost BSD. All right, so let's find Caden Live. I'll click on it. Now you can see it's installed here. You can see a, a flat pack, but if you do that drop down, you can install it as a Ubuntu Deb package. And some of them will not only have that, it'll have more options such as Snap. So if you don't want to snap, make sure you use your drop down menu when you're installing from the pop shop and select the category that you want or the software that more specifically applies to you. And that's one of the reasons why I really like Pop OS so far. So thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you on another video. Peace out, guys. Bye.